So, you've roughed a few of those last tutorials and they were just too easy, right? You're ready to get into something a little more advanced? Okay, then let's do it. How about setting up DDWRT? You should download the guide from privateinternetaccess.com forward slash pages forward slash client dash support forward slash dd dash wrt dash openvpn dash older dash build so you can copy and paste from steps 2, 7, and 9 in that guide. All right, client support and open VPN configuration files. Clicking that downloads the zip file. Let's close this tab for now. And here on the DDWRT control panel page, go to setup, scroll down a little bit, and find the network address server settings. Let's set the static DNS 1 to 4.2.2.1 the static DNS 2 to 4.2.2.2, and the static DNS 3, yep, 4.2.2.3. Okay, that's easy enough. We're up to a good start. Let's just save this now. Okay, everything looks good here. All the configs are there. Let's switch to the IPv6 tab of the setup. Just check in here if the IPv6 option is disabled. That's what we want for now and hit save just for save sake. Then up there on top, switch to the services tab. The second section here, DHCP server, has five different settings. Let's just change one of them, which is the use domain. Change that from WAN to LAN and WLAN. A little bit downwards, you see the DNS mask group of settings. Make sure you change the local DNS to enable, and this makes the four first options of DNS mask all enabled. Now scroll down here and hit save. And done. Still on the services tab, let's move to the sub tab called VPN. In here, everything should be disabled by default. But in this last section here for the OpenVPN client, we'll enable this last option, start OpenVPN client. And when you do that, a bunch of options appear. Let's set the server IP name to our VPN server address. In this example, us-california.privateinternetaccess.com And let's also change the hash algorithm to SHA-1. You should enable user pass authentication and enter your username password here. But we won't do this for now in this example. Remember that zip file you've downloaded a while ago? You should have it unzipped by now. If you did so, you'll have a folder with a bunch of files. And a very important one that we'll need here. Open the ca.crt file with a plain text editor. Select the entire content of the file and copy it. Now, paste it here on the CA search field of the OpenVPN client. There it is. After that, enable the advanced options, and you'll see that there's a bunch of different settings here. But what we really want now is to enable the NAT option. Do that. Leave this part here as it is. Scroll down a little bit until you find the additional config field. Copy from step 7 in the guide and paste it here. Auth user pass forward slash tmp forward slash password dot txt. Next line, persist dash key. And the next, persist dash tun. Next, tls dash client. One more, remote dash cert tls server. Okay, that wasn't so hard, was it? That should be it in here for now. Let's just save all that, and everything should be saved in proper order. We're almost there, don't give up yet. Well, why would you after coming this far? Let's take a look at this administration tab right here on the top right. It has seven sub-tabs, but you want to open the one called Commands. In here, we'll have to input a couple of shell line commands. No big deal, really. Just copy from step 9 in the guide and paste it here. Now, each of these two lines has a bit between single quotes after the echo command. Those are your own unique information for username and password. You should type your own info inside these single quotes, not what I'm typing here. After that, we have two more lines that you can copy from step 2 in the guide and paste it here. Yep, that's it. All right, now let's save it. We have four different save options here. Click the Save Startup one to run these commands well while starting up. There you go. The new startup commands are listed in the commands page now, as you can see. And that's basically it for the pesky command lines. Let's move over to the Management sub-tab under Administration. 
scroll down all the way to the bottom and hit the Reboot Router button. This will restart the router and apply all the settings and commands we just configured. And bang, process completed. Congratulations, you did it. That wasn't so bad, was it?